hello and be welcome to one more video here in the channel in this video i will talk about specifically um about football here in brazil because uh, everybody knows that brazil is the football paradise land kind of this okay and i will talk about uh, how is the stadium how much cost the tickets uh, and are there a lot of soccer fans in the stadium because a subscriber here is asking why there are so few people in the stadium <laughs> and it is, there is this doubt if people watch used to watch football here in Brazil okay and let's talk a little bit about it okay first of all is, Bra is soccer popular here in Brazil <laughs> obviously is a lot popular here in Brazil okay it's kind of a passion here everybody has his heart team let's say like this okay and the crowds the soccer fans here um, used to be a lot okay we have a lot of soccer fans here obviously okay uh, but uh, you will see very crowded stadiums when generally when big um, soccer a team that has a huge soccer fans base is playing at home okay the biggest um, teams here in brazil are um, in rio de janeiro and in sao paulo okay we have at the south big teams too okay i will mention the main teams here in rio de janeiro we have flamengo okay that is the biggest team in brazil okay with uh, i think the greatest number of fans in Brazil, okay? Uh, we have a lot of Flamengo fans here in Ceará and all over Brazil. And uh, Flamengo's games at home in Rio de Janeiro usually are crowded, okay? But and when they um, play outside Rio de Janeiro, uh, we have you, we usually have a lot of fans too. But let me say if Flamengo is playing against an unknown team, unknown team out of, outside Rio de Janeiro, we will not have a lot of fans in the stadium, okay? In Rio de Janeiro, we have Vasco da Gama, we have, um, we have Botafogo. These two are a little bit smaller, are not so big as Flamengo. And we have Fluminense, that uh, is not so big as Flamengo too, okay? Really, in Rio de Janeiro, uh, Flamengo, okay, rules the scenario in Brazil, in Rio de Janeiro, at all, okay? Uh, in Sao Paulo, we have uh, big teams there, okay, because Sao Paulo is the richest state in Brazil. We have Sao Paulo, okay, it's a huge team. We have Corinthians, and we have um, Palmeiras. Um, Palmeiras is very huge, too okay and i'm forgetting the other team we have another uh, soccer team but i'm not remembering here exactly now okay but these are the biggest if they play in sao paulo you will see a lot of soccer fans the the, the stadium usually is crowded too and if they play outside the same thing occurs if they are playing with small teams outside Sao Paulo, maybe we will not see a lot of, um, let me say, soccer fans in the stadium, okay? We have in Minas Gerais, Cruzeiro and Atlético Mineiro, okay? There are two huge teams. Um, in the south, we have Grêmio and Internacional. These are two big teams in Brazil. They conquer, conquered a lot of uh, world, um, like let me say competitions okay and south america uh, competitions here in my state ceará we have two teams that are not big as these teams i mentioned it but um they are growing with the pass of the time okay we have fortaleza and ceará okay these are two big teams with a lot of soccer fans but we don't have a lot of soccer fans outside ceará okay as Flamengo, let me say like this. Fortaleza is at the first division here in Brazil, okay? He is really growing fast, okay? And my team is Ceará, okay? Unfortunately, he's not so well. He is in the second division, actually. And um, when we, you are here 
um, in Ceará or in other states, and you want to see crowded stadium, um, look for uh, when these big teams play at home, okay? If the team is not going well, like Ceará, let me say like this, is in the second division, you will not see a very crowded stadium because uh, the team's not showing results, okay? But Fortaleza, let me say, that's growing, that's in the first division winning all the competitions, let me say like this, you see crowded stadiums, generally. Okay, and how much the, the ticket cost in the stadium? Here in my uh, state, Ceará, to watch a, a soccer game, you will expand from $4 until $50 is the maximum, is the most expensive ticket, $50 something like this or 40 50 dollars something like this depending in the season okay it's the uh, it's like vip arena it's, okay the the best place the best spot in the stadium but you can find four dollar tickets with a very good vision of the stadium but you'll not have the same structure as the 50 dollars 40 dollars ticket okay in Rio de Janeiro and São Paulo, the tickets could be more expensive, maybe from $10 until $60, okay, but will vary, um, vary this, like these costs here, okay? So that's it, uh, I'm, I have to give you a final advice, if you are going to a match with two big teams playing at home, let me say like Flamengo versus Fluminense in Rio de Janeiro, or Ceará against Fortaleza here in Brazil, here in Ceará, it can be a little bit dangerous, okay? We have a lot of fights in the stadium. Um, there are a lot of criminals usually in the stadium, um, okay? So be aware, don't try to avoid these environments with two big teams competing in at home, okay, generally, or ask to the locals if the specific game is dangerous because usually it is dangerous. I don't go to Fortaleza and Ceará games here in Ceará when they fight each other because uh, many times I went there and there was a lot of shots there, a lot of fight. It uh, was a little bit traumatic for me and I gave up going. But if Fortaleza is playing alone or Ceará against another team from outside, it's quite safe. The structure here is really good, the stadium, okay? We hosted the World Cup here, so um, we built a lot of good stadiums here in Brazil. So that's it. That's my advice. Uh, a little bit more about football. If you like this video, please like button, subscribe, and help me to monetize this channel to bring better videos here about Brazil. Thank you.